Hello my beautiful viewers, thank you so much for watching KD Fab Food Kitchens and thank again for liking my channel and if you do like it, please don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Hokkaido milk bun. It's super soft because of the Tang Young's um, starter. I'm going to show you how later, the techniques. And um, for the filling, we are going to use the purple yam or ube for our fillings that give us that rich um, purplish, beautiful colors. And if you don't have it, don't worry, we can use other filling, it's okay too. But at least the basic view have it down. So let's get started, let's go. This uh, bread very soft and like cotton when you're tearing it. We're gonna need to have a starter and we're gonna use a Tang Young style here. So we will need Tang Young starting here. So this process is important because it's gonna help our bread very, very soft. So 50 ml of water. 50 ml of milk and 40 grams of bread flour. We're gonna stir it really quick here before we turn on our heat. Let's turn it on to medium low and we're gonna continue stirring until we forming is forming a paste. Alright, it's about 5 minutes and you can see that it's forming a paste like this here. It's important to use medium-low heat because if you do too high heat, it will cause um, to really cook our flour and become like chunky. So that's not good one, like very soft paste like this. Now it's ready, we're going to turn off the stove. To cool it down, we're going to go ahead and add in 100 ml of whole milk. Give it a good stir up here. We're going to put in about 400 grams of the bread flour, 2 tablespoons of the dried milk powder, 60 grams of the garlic sugar, grams of the dry active yeast. If you have instant yeast, you can use it as well. And 1 teaspoon of salt, then add in our Tang Yong star that we made earlier and now it's cooled down completely. We're adding one cup. After 8 minutes at speed 4 kneading, um, we take out the dough. As you can tell that the bowl is pretty clean here. So it pulls away from the bowl. So you notice the um, dough here doesn't stick us to our side here. So that means that our dough is perfectly, it's not too wet. So if you notice that in the beginning, um, when we kneading it at speed 2 uh, for 4 minutes and it is still very sticky meaning that um, your dough is still too wet so you have to decrease the milk contents instead of using a half cup maybe use a little, a little bit less than half a cup 113 grams okay so now we're gonna go ahead and go into the ball
I'm gonna sp um, spray our container here. And I'm gonna put our dough into this container and we're gonna proof. So I'm gonna put in here and cover it. And I'm gonna put in the oven just to use the oven as a warm room to help proofing our bread here. I'm using dry active yeast, so it takes longer time. So if you using the instant yeast, you don't have to put in the oven. But since I use it the dry active yeast, I'm gonna put in the oven with the light on to keep the warm. Um, keep it warm so it can prove better. So we're going to put for about 60 minutes um, so to 90 minutes. So if you see, take it out after 60 minutes. So I'm going to prove it um, for 60 minutes and check back to see if it's already double in size. Okay, so we're going to put into the oven with lights on. For our dough to prove in the oven here for 60 minutes, we're going to start our uh, purple yam filling here. So you can do this in a day in advance. It's up to you if you have time um, But I'm going to show you how to make it here. So I'm going to use three and a fourth cup of evaporate milk add in Half a cup of garlic sugar. We're gonna whisk it to dilute it and turn to medium low and we're gonna add in our 400 grams of the purple yam and we will Slow cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's all thickening. Then we can go ahead and put in the fridge. Alright, so after about 90 minutes, I did rest it for 90 minutes in the oven with the light on. It's about proof of in double inside here. So when it's fluffy like this, it's good. So. Now I'm just going to have to divide up the dough here in two. So this is the purple yam that I already pre-made and I'll show you in the video how to make it. So we're going to spread a little bit on here. So if you don't have purple yam and you like other filling like red beans or yellow yam whatnot, you can add on. But for this video, I'm going to do the purple yam. it in like this and we're gonna pinch it so that way it prevent it from popping when it's baking We're going to transfer into our pan here. I'm going to give it a spray for nonstick cooking oil. I'm going to place it in here. Gently bring it in like this for about 50 to 60 minutes until you see it's puff up, puffy, then it's ready to bake. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and cover it so it won't dry out our dough and we will let it rest. Puff up like this one here. 
so it's ready to go into the oven and we're gonna bake it at 180 celsius or 100 or 365 fahrenheit for about 17 to 20 minutes depend on your oven if you see it start to turn golden then you can take it out so i'm going to put into the oven metal rack so here is our bread which is out the oven not long ago i baked it for about 17 minutes so let's just see how cotton look is like i'm gonna tear one to show you here look inside wow look how soft it is video and if you do don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel to support me and for more video in the future until then goodbye